welcome back to, I don't even know what week, week is. Oh my god. Week 10 of our van build. So Big today one. is Saturday and you want to tell them what we did? We registered the van. We got license plates got license and plate. we have our insurance and it is good to go and leave in a it's month. It's legal. It's legal. So we made Bloody Marys, which I don't even really like. We're celebrating and then we're going to get out there and get started. I'm just so relieved. I know. <laughs> we thought it was going to take like a, we thought we were gonna have to get a temporary license plate. And then get our plates shipped to Utah, which would have been a whole thing. But we got them today. Yeah, she was like, you're taking home a plate. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like they just don't teach you that kind of thing. Yeah. And so we... And it's really hard to navigate on the internet. Like, What is your actual situation? Okay, so we will see you out there. This is kind of like, our Saturdays are usually like prepping for our bigger days on Sunday, which is when we're gonna get our kitchen counters and kitchen cabinets all in and such. So we're gonna prep for that today, but see you when we're out there. See you there. I'm finishing Shay's Bloody Mary because she can't finish it. Because she wants to act like she likes them, but she doesn't. <laughs> We're gonna get started. I'm gonna unload these cabinets and I'm going to put a second coat of green paint on them and polyurethane the same as we did for our above head cabinets while Jean's up there scraping away. I'm gonna come through the ceiling. Okay, see you when I'm painting. and we got the two panels on so now we're going to take all of the bed out and then we're going to put insulation on the wheel wells just so they stay cool or warm because right now there's what an inch not even huh there's probably an inch of a cover over the wheel base so it's kind of getting like letting a lot of hot and cold air so we're gonna put insulation over that sweet can you feel your hands no <laughs> had to stay inside. I had to hide. Started to realize what I wanna be. It's like six. Mm. I just love doing like, we're doing like final little things. Mm -hmm. 
We did a big thing today. Yeah, getting a car insured <laughs> and, registered and registered and getting the fleets. <laughs> Making it legal to drive. Yeah, now we don't have to worry. Um, so now we're going to go in a bubble bath because mm -hmm. it's about, I don't know, like 30 degrees. It might be lower now. Mm -hmm. We're just like cold to the bone. So we're going to open a bottle of wine and, and take, take a, a bubble bath. And then cook. Yeah, so we're going to cook a dinner. Make what cauliflower steaks tonight. Right. <laughs> All right, so. See you inside. Cut to the bath. This is not, this is not tall enough for me and I feel like you always do that and you just leave me out of it. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm so no. sorry. <laughs> We're bathed. <laughs> we have been deeply bathed and now we are starting our next recipe. Um, what else are we making besides the cauliflower steaks? Don't interrupt. <laughs> We're making cauliflower steaks <laughs> with a mashed sweet potato and asparagus all over a mushroom gravy. Mm. So. <laughs> okay, so while the water is boiling for the sweet potatoes, I'm going to start preparing the um, cauliflower. So you just get a big cauliflower head. Do you want to give it to me? Is it too so you get a big collar head, about the size of my head. <laughs> and then you're gonna cut it in about one fourth inch slices. No, I'm lying. One inch slices. Yeah, like just like what like fourths. what like a steak would be. Yeah, and then I'll show you how we marinate that. And then you are going to fry it kind of and grill it on both sides for two minutes, and then put it directly from there into the oven for 20 minutes, and it just. It is, it's not supposed to taste like a meat, but it's supposed to have the flavors and a little bit of the consistency of a steak. So. By mistake, I didn't know to be in love. You had to fight to have the upper hand. Day. In all honesty, I'm grumpy. It is so cold and we have to wait for Ed to be finished doing a job to go to Home Depot and get stuff for the kitchen counters and the um, bed storage. So, 
We're just gonna trim some windows. So around these windows, we um, they, it, the van came with a white outline, so we're gonna see if that still works, but we're gonna basically put the wood that we used for the ceiling, we're gonna use that same color, and we're gonna do a trim, and then we're gonna do a little, like a foot, little sill. Yeah, and so that will be darker, which I think will give a nice contrast to a lot of the white, and um, also tie in the ceiling, so. Yeah. That'll look really good. So we're gonna get started on that, and then check in a little bit. And I hate everything. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So I'm gonna cut our first piece of trim just so we can get an idea of what it's gonna be. What we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I We got it Well, they put in that top panel. I'm gonna go do an unboxing of a very exciting shipment that we just got in. <laughs> so we ordered our bedspread to come in, and it came in like four days. So we got it at Urban. It is a duvet cover style because I have um, a Buffy comforter, which works for really a good duvet insert. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's so Ooh, pretty. You wanna help me put it on? Sure. Time to go check back on the girlfriend. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are fine. Ed! Ed! You and I, the future is bright. We don't need no more. Even in the hard times. Taking a little lunch break, just popping up. Really easy chickpea salad sandwich. Um, just literally just mashed chickpeas, and then I add in a vegan mayonnaise, sriracha, and Dijon mustard, and then throw it on a wrap. Wrap it up and call it a day. <laughs> We're gonna take the van <laughs> to a pretty spot tonight for the sunset, and have the bed all in. Mm -hmm. So I think that we should do the bed first and see if we have time for the cabinets. Mm -hmm. See you when we're back outside. Make sure that we have all the right paneling 
Um, we got, what is it called? Cabinet paneling? It's, we have um, cabinet gray paneling and we cut it to size at Home Depot, but there's gonna be an overlap in the corner where the two benches meet. So we're gonna have to trim that. So right now we're trying to find the right pieces and then start installing those. cut the back board the back panel that's going to act as part of our bed support and our back part of our l-shaped couch but we were going to have it on a piano hinge and so that we could come back here and open it up but instead of doing that we thought if there's like bad weather we need something from the back and we don't feel like getting outside of the van to access it we're going to have it so we can also open from the inside up and then we're going to order legs that fold under kind of like just um, like a party table, like a beer pong table. And we're gonna secure them underneath so they can fold in when it's down. But then we can also take out the board completely and then have it as a table on the, right here or wherever we want an outdoor table, which is just so perfect. So I will show you what that looks like. For us to be able to lift this up, we're gonna put a hole in the center of the board and we're gonna use a foster bit to do that. Um, and we put, uh, scrap piece of wood underneath so that when we drill through it doesn't splinter so it'll be like to stain and put a finish on so it's weatherproof and it can be used as a table outside. So, it. And it also then is our little storage space. From both sides we have a hole that we just you just saw us put in that we can open it. <laughs> Milwaukee is the tool to own. 12 volt, have everything you need to build the van. Sponsors. Sponsors. I'm looking for sponsors. <laughs> Milwaukee. Hinge is on, so now perfect. 
perfect. Next, put this in so we can make the table part itself removable and a little bit shorter so it didn't have to be the whole width. Ready for the table! It's gonna be picked up and put against the wall wherever we want it. And then this beam, that back there, that extra piece we put in so we can make the table shorter so we have ample amount of room, leg room, leg space to get in. Like such. Ha ha. Hoo ha. Something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him dead So, we just drove to watch the sunset to finish off week 10 I can't wait till those are Utah mountains behind us Or anything Or a beach Or anything other than the snow but it's just so pretty. Ugh. So that's a wrap. Um, the bed is completely done. We just have to mount the table next week. We are going to head home and eat Chinese food. Yeah. And relax. We're yeah. freezing. So. The snow held out for us. Yeah. It's supposed to snow today. But it didn't. Is that a little bunny? Yes. Oh my god, it's so cute. I think it is. If you liked this video, it means a lot and really helps out our channel. If you hit that like and subscribe, we try and upload almost every Sunday. Sometimes there's a little break if we don't make it home for whatever reason. But if you want to keep following along with our van, we have about five weeks until we hit the West Coast to our job in Utah. And our so, vlogs totally changed. Then. So much changed. So we all travel based. Yeah. Amazing. Um, so yeah, if you like this and you want to tag along to watch all that, then hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>